How's it going guys? Tony Maritato here, picking one of the hottest, sunniest days of the week to do this video. But in this five minute quick tip video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get in and out of the car within the first week, actually the first day of getting your total knee replacement. Because when you get discharged from that hospital, you're gonna to have to get home. So this is gonna be three simple tips on getting in and out of the car as easily as possible. The first little quick tip, get a garbage bag, a regular garbage bag. This is going to help you get in and out of the, out of the car a little more easily. So the gar garbage bag is gonna cover the seat just so it slides a little better. You're gonna slide the seat all the way back as far as it goes, and you're gonna recline the backrest all the way back as far as it goes. The reason why you're doing that is because you're gonna need to be able to move around within the car. Now, most conventional advice is gonna be for you to get in and out of the front passenger seat because it gives you the most space to work with. I'm gonna give you a tip at the end of this video that I think is gonna be way easier than the front seat. And I'll show you that as long as you keep watching. But for now, let's go through a couple scenarios. Let's pretend for a second you had your left knee replaced. You got your walker in front of you, you come up to the car. Typically, if it's my left knee, what I would do is I would set my walker on the side, I'd brace between the car frame and the door, I'd get that left leg in, and then I would just kind of scooch myself in, into the car to take a seat. Uh, from here, get the right one in, adjust the back of the seat, put on my seat belt, and we're ready to go. Now, let's say, for example, I had my right knee replaced. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have my walker. I'm going to come up, kind of back in, sit my walker there, brace between the car door and the frame. If it's my right knee, I'm going to put that leg forward as I sit. From here, because I've got that plastic on the seat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide in the best I can, and I'm actually going to slide onto the backrest of the car. So I'm sliding back to get that knee in, and then I can slide back down into position, fix the backrest, put on my seatbelt, and we're ready to go. So those are the two most common scenarios. Now when I'm getting out of the car, basically the same thing. I use my non-surgical leg to scoop back onto the seat. I get that surgical leg out. I scoop down into position. I come right up to that front edge. There's my seat. I can brace, I can brace. Get your nose over your toes and come on to standing. Grab my walker and we're ready to go. All right guys, so you saw my explanation for getting in and out of the front passenger seat, whether I had a left knee replacement or a right knee replacement. But now, sometimes I really feel like it's easier to just get in the back seat. So what you would do in that case is you would move the front seat forward as far as it can go. I bring the backrest forward, I slide the seat itself forward, as far as it can go, give myself as much room as possible in the back seat. All right, I've got my trusty bag that's gonna help me slide into the seat. And let's go through the scenarios again. Let's say, for example, it was my right knee that was replaced. I've got my walker, I come in, I turn around, so my walker is in front of me. I back in, I put that right knee forward, I take a seat. Now the difference here is, there's no way you're going to turn into position. I understand that, but what you're going to do is you're going to slide in and you're basically going to let that leg potentially just rest on the seat. I can turn, I can grab my seat belt, I can do whatever needs to be done to get into a safe position. If I have enough room here, absolutely I can turn and get my seatbelt on and get ready. If I don't have enough room on this side, I just slide over to the other side or sit in the middle. But the idea is, I'm not sure how well you can see me on camera, I can keep this leg supported by the seat. When I'm ready to get out, I do the same thing. I slide it out first, I get it down on the ground. From here, 
I've got my supports. I stand up, grab my walker, and we're ready to go. So the point of this video really is that there is no perfect solution. Sometimes going in the front is best. Sometimes going in the back is best. If it's my left knee and I want to go in the back, I just go on the other side of the car. You're always able to find a solution as long as you keep thinking about what's going to be best and easiest for you. So guys, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, let me know. If you like the content we're putting out, subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell. But most importantly, post your questions in the comments to this video because the more questions you bring me, the more videos I can bring you and I can help make this as painless and as enjoyable as possible. Nobody enjoys the pain involved in the rehab after a total knee replacement, but I promise you, you're gonna love the lifestyle and the activities you're able to do if you rehab properly. Guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.